hey girls welcome back to the channel for another video this week if you're new to my channel i'm jerry Micaiah, but all my friends call me g if you're a returning subscriber thanks for coming back this week and clicking on my face and if you haven't already go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up like share subscribe and do not forget to follow your girl on instagram at jerry Micaiah for all of my fabulous updates and come back each week girl for weekly uploads In today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys my best luxury purchases of 2020 now i'm doing my best luxury purchases because i don't have any worst luxury purchases because as you girls know here on the channel i am in the process or of intentionally shopping so i do not buy things that i do not love if i don't love it in the store i do not buy it. i may like it but i'm not gonna buy it i feel like when you're intentional when you're shopping you don't waste money and honestly i'm proud of myself because this year i don't have anything that i purchased and i'm like mm, i don't like that if i did purchase something that i really didn't love I already returned it so there's no worse luxury purchases so i'm going to be showing you guys my favorite or top luxury purchases that i made this year now with this list i had to minimize it because girl at this point i was going to put everything that i purchased on this list and the video just would have been very very long so i kind of narrowed it down to the top 10 probably added a couple more things on the list but whatever um yeah so these are my top 2020 purchases as y'all know i didn't really do too much this year like well i did a lot i can't lie i did a lot i just didn't go a lot of places so a lot of these things i really didn't get to wear besides going to maybe lunch with my friends and back in the car and back home but whatever i'm still gonna show you girls anyway okay so in this video i don't really have a specific order i'm not like ranking anything from my top fave to least fave i'm just picking them up as i go so the first pair of shoes i'm going to be showing you guys are i can't lie i'll out of everything I'm going to show you today, these are probably like my latest crazy obsession. They are the Alexander Wang Amelia sandals and the lights are not doing nothing for these shoes, girl. These shoes in the sun, they bang. I was going to purchase the Air Mask Orange sandals in black, but I kind of wanted something that says, oh my God, that is so G. I am a statement piece type of girl. So when I saw these, I just knew that these were for me. My name were on them. It was meant to be. Now, how I got these. These are sold out everywhere. I saw them at Neiman Marcus when I was in Houston. Didn't pull the trigger. Went online to get them sold out. So I put my name, my email to let them know, you know, if they come back in stock, let me know. I've worked in luxury retail. The likely hood and chances of them calling you or emailing you to let you know that your size is in stock slim to none so a couple months ago when i got the email it was like 39 in stock i was like girl hell to the no i clicked on it and they had one left in the whole um system i purchased the 39 i was kind of scared because i always get 39 through 40 i didn't know so i was like i'm gonna be safe and sorry i'm gonna just get them they fit like a glove they fit perfect and girl look at y'all these shoes the quality is like amazing amazing these crystals are so 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 well made i love shoes that have like good quality especially when they have like specific details and embellishments on them because i don't like like if something start falling off i'm not gonna wear it no more i'm gonna just be completely over it y'all the way that they constructed these shoes they did they thing on these shoes if you can, as you can see they are like up in there they're not going to come off if i wear them if i'm walking i don't have to worry about nothing flopping or flying off girl first of all these shoes i cannot lie super super heavy but i love the fact that they have the because if, if you know about the um alexander wang amelia sandal they have the the cage style is kind of like the original or iconic style and i love the fact that they stayed with that so as you can see you can kind of if little y'all can't speak if i had them on my feet you would still be able to see my feet you can uh oh why is she not focusing you can probably see my toes and i just love 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 and oh I wish that you guys can see them in like the sunlight sunlight they just be sparkling let me see if i put them back here if you guys can see them you can probably see like a little glisten girl these shoes are <laughs> they're so good they will even look good what i have on now 
but this was definitely a good purchase that I do not regret buying and I cannot wait to pull them out these are so so good and I can't wait oh all black y'all know so yeah next you guys know I am highly obsessed with the Saint Laurent Arty ring I broke one of them this year I sold one of them because for some reason it was just a little tight on me so I ended up selling it so right now I'm currently having I currently have two if you watch my vlog, you know I broke one. Cracked it. Now these rings are glass. They're, they have like this brassy hardware. Hold on, let me see. They have, oh, it's kind of washed out. They have this brassy hardware, but the stone is glass. I end up breaking the glass when we all went out. I think we was drinking. I don't know how I broke it, girl, but oh i'm sorry guys let me put them just put them on because maybe that'll be easier it's trying to focus on okay there it is the lighting is kind of washing them out just a little but girl these are my favorite rings i like i said also plan on adding a couple more to my collection and i'm just so happy that i got these because when i first started looking at these um rings these two colors the coral oh shoot the coral and the blue were my go-to i really 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 wanted these and i wanted the teal i ended up selling the teal because i just didn't feel comfortable i like my rings to be kind of loose because throughout the day i feel like my fingers can swell up and it's just so uncomfortable these were my go-to colors that i really wanted so the fact that i was able to get them i'm super excited and as i grow this collection of course i'm going to give you guys a full um jewelry collection sooner or later so love these next thing on this list i've been getting so many questions about these glasses now these glasses are vintage fendi because they came out a while ago maybe like 2013 and that's not really vintage but they're gonna to me that they're, they're they're good let's just say that so they come in the fendi the vintage fendi case a lot of you be on my Instagram asking me about these and they're kind of dirty. They're these Fendi shades. Girl, look at that. This shade was like my dream pair of glasses. I wanted these because I just was like, oh my God. Now, when I opened the package and I purchased them, I was a little skeptical. As soon as I saw them because I, I have a very round face and it's very full in my cheeks. So, I was a little afraid because they are small. But let me tell y'all something. These shades are like so, 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 so good. And hold on. My wig is not cooperating. Hopefully they're not crooked. Look at this. Girl, <laughs> what? Tell me this is not good. And they come in like red and blue the first time i ever seen these glasses i was watching basketball wives and jennifer williams was fighting with evelyn and she had on these red and blue glasses i instantly did my googles and they say they were fendi so at the time i was like oh my god they were still sold out everywhere so when i was able to get my hands on these <laughs> i was like of course i need them now as you can see they are a little small Mm, once I put them on I don't care I love them I absolutely love them they're just so 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 good and I love the fact that they have like so many different contrasts with the uh, chartreuse little bar right here I love 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 the lenses I love a granite see-through lens it's just like my zhuzh like I, I love these girl look at this I love them so for all the girls that's on my Instagram asking about these glasses, these are Fendi and I believe they came out, like I said, 2013. I'm not sure of the name, but yeah, I love them. Love. Mm, mm, mm. They're just so good. And I also want the red and blue. These glasses are so hard to find, y'all. I was looking for these glasses forever. And when I found them, that's why I think it's very important to have like expensive glasses but I also like to buy inexpensive glasses because let's say if I'm going somewhere that I know I'm gonna like be drinking or 
I could possibly lose them, I would never wear these. These I will only take these places where I know I know that it's like we're safe. You guys will stay with me. Girl, if I'm going somewhere like me and my friends about to go have margaritas and things can get a little little turnt, I'm not wearing them. I wore them in Houston and I refuse to take them off my face because I was like, if I take these glasses off, girl, they're gone. But that probably the best purchase of this year because I was so excited about those. And I purchased these way at the beginning of the year before I even started doing YouTube. I purchased those like January. So, yeah, uh, my hair is just not cooperating today. Um, I think I want to lighten this hair, maybe do some like highlights in it because or maybe I just need to wash it with some purple shampoo because I'm low-key not loving it as much as I was when I first did it. But. And for you guys that are going to ask, on my lips, I'm wearing a Morphe um, matte lipstick. And the name of it is Bloodshot. If I can find it, I'm going to link it down below in the description box. Next item on the list, you guys also saw this bag, is my Saint Laurent Sac de Jour in the Nano. And it's yellow. In the grain leather. Now... Y'all be in my DMs heavy about the Saint Laurent Sac de Jour Nano. And so many of you guys, ever since I've been showing them on YouTube, a lot of y'all have been telling me how I encouraged you or influenced you to buy them. Listen, I'm always down to influence somebody to spend a coin, girl. So, hey, this bag, I have used this bag so much. This is probably my most used bag this year. A lot of my bags I did not touch this year. A lot of them I didn't even wear once. But this bag, I wore her to the ground. And she's still in great condition. I love the fact that she can almost go. And I didn't even have her that long. I purchased her like October-ish. But since I purchased this bag, I have been using her a lot. She's just so functional. She's She give like every outfit a pop of color. And she also have a crossbody strap, which... I absolutely love now I'm not really big on silver hardware but in this case I didn't mind because I actually like the silver hardware against the yellow I feel like gold would have just been doing a little too much next to the yellow so this bag has been she's been through it with me yes girl she was she did her thing in 2020 she she did I can't lie but so good job girl so since we talking about bags i might as well go ahead and show you the other two bags that i am obsessed that i got this year and the next bag of course you guys seen it is my chanel Va timeless vanity now if you have not seen the full review on this bag i'm gonna go ahead and link it above now this girl i did not pull out that much this year because of course she's vintage and i feel like vintage bags are, it's just not a bag that i'm gonna go for every single day she's an occasion type of girl she comes out she makes a, <laughs> a little one two cameo and she goes back to her designated area i am very very happy that i end up getting this bag because first of all i've been seeing it um on resale and consignment websites and the price has definitely increased. I've been seeing this bag for about fifteen hundred, sometimes a thousand. But when it's like a thousand dollars, I don't like the um the condition that it's in. I feel like anytime you see a bag that's kind of low in price, you always want to pay attention to the condition because if they're selling you the bag for a very, very, very low price, maybe it's not in the best condition, and you don't want a bag that you're gonna just have for a little while. You kind of if you, it's an investment, so you want to get a bag that has good it's in a good condition i don't care if it's pre-loved use whatever you still want a bag that's in good condition so i am very happy that i was able to get her like look at her sometimes i just pull out just to look at a girl i don't even really use her but i'm happy that she's a part of the collection she's not going to wear she is a part of the family like she's mama and she's going to sit on her throne now the next bag it's probably right now my go-to bag. This bag I have been using every single day. And also, you girls have been in my DMs heavy on this bag. And it is my Fendi cosmetic bag. Now, this is a cosmetic bag that I am currently using as a handbag. When I opened the package for this bag, I was like, this was not what the hell I expected. I was like, she's too small. And I did not know it was nylon. However... This bag has grown on me and I am highly obsessed, girl. First of all, 
it looks very very small it can be held so many different ways but she can hold a lot of stuff in this bag i carry my phone my portable phone charger my wallet well um card holder chapstick y'all this bag can hold a lot and she has this snap close now a lot of you have been asking me how could you find this bag this bag is also a vintage um bag very very hard to find so you just have to be look on the lookout i did not know it was a cosmetic bag until i got it and i was like oh wait this is a cosmetic bag it's not a handbag and i love the fact that it's nylon because it's so so easy for me like let's say i get something on it it's so easy to just wipe off with a wet cloth it dries super quick and she is just my go-to bag this bag goes with everything and i love old vintage fendi zuka and that is the ff print i love the zuka print it's just so good and look at this hold on let me take the stuffing out of it i like to keep all my bags stuff to just keep it shape and just keep it sitting perched like a poodle when it's not being used so look at this i love this i girl just i i, I was living for this bag so so cute and once again it would look really good what i have on now so this bag like i said i've been using her a lot so for what i paid for i definitely got my money's worth and i believe i paid a hundred dollars for this bag if i'm not tripping it was i believe a hundred dollars if i'm not mistaken it was a hundred dollars and y'all she was worth the coinage worth the coinage okay this is distracting me go over here girl but yeah, she was definitely worth the coin and probably right now my most used handbag because I reach for this bag every single day. If I'm not using this bag, I'm using my Alexander Wang Rocky Duffel because that is a great everyday bag. You can beat that bag up and she's still going to be in great condition. The leather that they use on an Alexander Wang Rocky Duffel, girl, undefeated period next on this list are a couple airmas purchases i'm going to just start off with whatever one this is oh now the airmas cuff i wanted this cuff for a very long time as you guys i believe i did a feel a review on this on unboxing i believe i did so let me just go ahead and do both at the same time because see the way our time is set up so these definitely get used a lot over here with my wardrobe. And this is the Hermes CDC cuff. Uh oh. The Hermes CDC cuff I use a lot. Also, the Hermes Click Clack Extra Wide, I use her a lot. These cuffs are a statement piece in the wardrobe. And I just feel like great investments i'm definitely getting my money's worth because i use them a lot and it's just so effortless and just so easy to wear like if i wanted to put it on with this it was look so good it just elevates every outfit or look so that's why i actually want to invest like i said cdc i need a black i need the black and the extra wide click clack i would love to get this one in the black now my wrist is a little weird in my other click clacks, I had a, if this is the PM, I had GMs. The PM, well, I did gain a little weight. Girl, between quarantine weight and holiday weight, girl, they weighing me, them, them girls weighing me out and I can't take it. Sometimes throughout the day, it feels a little restricted. I, I don't like when I feel stuff on me. I like to feel free. And sometimes I, I feel it and it kind of bothers me. It's a, this bracelet is very heavy. Like the quality is, is there. It's very heavy, not heavy to where it's like, oh my God, it's annoying, but it's heavy to the place where it's like, I feel it. Like, and throughout the day, I don't like that feeling. I don't like feeling like stuff, something is like holding me, but I still love it. I got a lot of use out of it from the time that I did have it. I, it's like my go-to and maybe it's my go-to because it's like at the beginning as soon as you open my jewelry drawer it's right there so when i need something to wear it's kind of like a no-brainer but these two were definitely definitely 
worth the money because I have been using them nonstop. Now, moving on to shoes. I got a, got a couple more pair of shoes. If you girls know, I am a platform girl. I'm 5'2", so platforms is my thing. I live for a good platform. I love them. On this list here, we have the Saint Laurent Page platform. Y'all know I'm a Saint Laurent Page platform girl. If you have not seen my review on the Page platforms, I'm gonna link them right above. Now, with the Page platform sizing, I got so many different sizes. I have a size 40 and 40 and a half. And I think I have a 39. I, I don't know. But I have so many different sizes. I would say that these, if you have small, narrow feet, you can get your regular true to size. If you have wide feet, I would size up. Because these right here are a 40 and a half. And they fit me perfect. I feel like if I would go down, they would maybe a little, they, look, girl, girl, girl. They would be too small. Y'all, I'm losing it. I'm, I'm losing it. I feel like I haven't slept in days and I, I'm feeling it. Okay. Bear with me. Like I said, if I size down, they will be too small. Now I love a good platform girl. And these I thought was super, super cool because look at this. They have like this drawing on the side. They have these hearts, which I thought was just, just cute, flirty and the color. I was skeptical about and how, oh, first of all let me tell you how I got these I got these because once again I was on um Neiman Marcus and they said they had one left in stock I was like please be my size had my size I was skeptical about the color because I usually don't like these type of colors just not my my judge it don't look good on my skin tone but I was wrong because when I picked up these shoes and I put them on y'all they were so good and I was so surprised I love a shoe that wraps around my ankle I think it's so flirty so sexy so these girls and I love the fact that with this color I can wear them in during the fall and I can also wear them in like spring summer now in the fall I will wear these with some tights probably my Gucci and um Gucci interlocking G's tights will look good with these and maybe some burgundy tights with these wrapped around the fact that they have this um ankle strap i feel like it just makes it so good but this color it makes it like transitional from season to season which i am highly obsessed with and yeah this is how the shoe look the inside of the shoe does not have any drawing on them but the outside does it's just really fun really fun so i could definitely couldn't leave them but to say all that, I would definitely say if you are able to put your email on, if something's sold out, don't just give up and just like click off. Definitely, girl, put your um, email on. This hair is blowing it. Definitely put your email in because, girl, they've been restocking and I'm, I'm, I've been surprised. Now, next, I have two pair of shoes, same shoe, different colors, same style. Um met this girl on instagram and i saw that she worked for a gucci outlet i've been hearing about these gucci outlets and i've just been like mm, what kind of gucci stuff y'all got y'all me and her just was like conversating back and forth through instagram and one day i saw a pair of shoes i'm scrolling on the explore page and i saw a pair of gucci shoes and i was like oh my god i love this where could i get them it was just like on my radar. So I'm on, this is literally how I met her. I'm on explore page and I'm just scrolling and I see that she posted that the shoes were for sale in her store. So I'm like, oh my God, let's see. I de basically DM'd her. She was like, yeah, I work for the Gucci outlet. We have two, two pairs, but they're two different sizes. I was like, please, what size? She's like, I have a 40 and I have a 39 and a half. When she told me the price, both the shoes were 189. I was like, sis, do y'all do phone orders? And could we please just ship both of them? I mean, for $189, if one pair didn't fit or I didn't like it, I can always sell them and make a profit. So let me show y'all these shoes. I'm going to start off with these. Now, let me tell y'all the story behind these. The Okay, so these are the Gucci Sally platforms. And these shoes look black and white, but they're not. They're actually cream and navy blue look at that Hold on, let me, they're, they're kind of heavy so i'm gonna just use one 
y'all i love a platform and the platform is i believe seven inches y'all look how gorgeous this shoe is and i love a contrast shoe shoes that have stripes is a great great shoe to like give your um outfit a pop like just imagine having like on a in the summertime a pink dress with these shoes the shoes is just gonna really pop it off and i love the fact that the ankle strap is cream they did a great job with the contrast it's like hold on oh okay there you go you can see the blue now but i love the fact that this part here is blue but they kept the ankle strap um cream because it gives like a really pretty contrast so i was obsessed so the color that i really 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 wanted was the they, this shoe come in black this style this style was very popular the ones that nobody could find as soon as you get them they were like sold out i don't know they were limited i don't know but the ones that you could never find were either the hot pink or the red i really 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 wanted the red and the hot pink but once i tried on the stripes i was like oh my god this is just so so cute i can do so much with this but when i was talking to my girl she was like no i have the red y'all look at this shoe i don't think that the camera is doing much for this shoe y'all look at this first of all let me come close to give you the detail these shoes are suede the camera has to be washing them out because you guys this shoe is so vibrant like the color let me see if i can pull them back and no, the camera's just not doing anything for the shoe. They're so vibrant. I love the fact that they're suede and they have like the chevron um, print on the heel. So it's just not like a boring red platform. Hold on. Oh, uh, the lighting is just not being nice. Okay, you can kind of see the chevron. Y'all, this shoe is gorgeous. Now, a con with this shoe uh, this is the 39 and a half they're a little tight right here in, at the front but by them being leather i know that they're going to stretch out i just have to go places to wear them y'all when she showed me this shoe i was like what y'all know i am a platform girl and a red platform like this and look at the details on the buckle it just first of all this whole shoe just give me vintage vibes and the buckle let me see as you can see it's this really cool gold brassy buckle and it just looks so cute it's like a accent on the ankle it's, it gives like when when it's on it just looks like a y'all i'm too excited like i'm too excited that i can't even talk when it's on the feet it gives it look like a, a anklet it's very very pretty and both um shoes have this i believe all of the um shoes the sally platforms come why are you not focusing comes with the gold hardware y'all look at that oh my god i just want to focus on my face let me hide my face so y'all can see the shoe okay there we go look at that it's so gorgeous so as you can see two different styles but the same shoe and the shoes, they're kind of heavy. I can't lie. They're kind of heavy. Now, just a tip. If you, as you see, you probably see this little thing right here. I buy these from Walmart to keep your feet. I hate when I go places and I see girls with their feet going over the shoe. This little thing right here will keep you from your feet moving. It's like this rubber thing i don't know what it is I, if i can find them, i'm gonna link them down below but it keeps my feet from moving in my shoes so once my feet touch here it does not move best thing i've ever found i don't know the name i don't know what they're called but if i can find them i'm gonna definitely link them down below but girl i cannot wait i wore the y'all i fell in these i was walking in the house i believe that before you leave your house in your heels you should give them a test try in the house Honey, I took a fall. I, I tumbled. I tumbled in these. And one of them, they have like a nick on them because I tumbled. I fell. But these are the shoes, girls. I love them. 
look at that leather that's just so pretty i love the fact that it's smooth and these are the shoes i don't see myself selling that's why i say i like to buy pieces now that is timeless i don't see myself really getting rid of hold on i love buying pieces that i just don't see myself getting rid of like just timeless pieces and that's why i say it's very important to shop and be intentional with the pieces that you're buying because everything that i showed you guys today can be in my wardrobe for a very long time now next is the airman sandals that i already showed you guys if you have not seen the full review on these sandals i'm gonna go ahead and link them above now i have not had a chance to wear these I have tried them on with many of looks in my closet, dresses, everything. I just like to, you know, see what I'm, what I'm getting for my money. And as you guys can see, I haven't worn them yet, but I'm looking forward to wearing them. I just don't see me returning them or thinking like, oh my God, this was a waste of money. I love, love, love these. I look forward to wearing these in a summertime spring i just feel like these are going to be a great addition to my wardrobe now a lot of you are asking me how do i plan on styling them how do i plan on wearing them so let me go ahead and show you i think these two together are going to be great hold on look at this it's am i focused what's going on why are you not focusing today look at this i just feel like these two together this combo is just super fun and the fact that i love color blocking but the key to color blocking by me they're not going to be too far apart these are going to be on the ground this is going to be like by my side across body so as you see they both look hold on just really good together it just gives you summertime vibes and yeah i just can't wait to wear these so these are definitely a shoe that I'm so happy I got to purchase in my collection. And guess what? They're sold out already. These shoes do not stay on the website for long. And resale, girl, I saw these somebody reselling these for $800. And that's just crazy. Not when they retail for $630. So before I go ahead and end this video out, I have one more thing that I want to show you guys. It's from a collab that H&M did with Balmain. Now, that collab was my favorite collab that H&M has ever done. I feel like it was just so 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 good everything the quality it wasn't trendy they did a great job on that collaboration so for a while they, they had like two things that i really really wanted it was the beaded blazer dress or it was just a blazer the beaded blazer i'ma see if i could put it here i wanted this dress like i needed this dress still haven't found it in great condition or my size Resale, I'd be seeing it for about thirteen to fifteen hundred dollars, and it'd be like double zeros and twos. Girl, come on, I'm not a double zero or two, so whatever. When I saw the next item, it was definitely on my list because I was like, when H and M dropped it, I was like, that is so good. That is going to be a piece that you can wear for a very long time, a classic piece, and it is the vest. First of all, it it looks black, but it's navy. Y'all, look at this vest. I love everything about this vest. I cannot try it on right now, girl. I just I just can't. Sooner lady girls are going to see me with it on, but hold on, let me get it in. Look at the lapel. I love it. It's just so so gorgeous, and I only y'all, I got it for $125. I believe it was retailing for about $800. I paid 125 for it. Everything about this is so good. It has these very defined shoulder pads which i love and i love the side you, you, you can't really get the vibe i'm i promise guys i'm going to show you this on in a styling try on video this definitely is going to make a cameo in one of the wardrobe revamps but i was so happy to get this piece because this is so good i love the fact that i can wear it winter spring summer fall it does not matter i would wear it no matter the season i was very excited to get this piece especially for the price that i paid it i'm definitely going to get use out of it and i got the size 10. that's why i was so excited because it's rare that you see a larger size in um such good pieces like this usually you only see like zeros and twos so when i saw 10 i had to jump on it oh girl now i'm sweating okay that's pretty much it for this video um i didn't made a mess over here y'all 
I have so much more to show and share with you guys and throughout time I'm definitely going to be showing you guys a lot more of things that I've been purchasing and sooner or later we, we, we're going to have a talk because in a couple weeks I have to do a life update with you guys we have some things to talk about because let me tell y'all something life is changing over here girl and that's for the better so 2021 is looking real promising for your girl and i'm gonna you guys are gonna be on a journey with me and i'm gonna just tell you everything that i have going on and i'm excited i'm very 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 excited but for now this is my luxury purchases of 2020 and i feel like i did a good job because i didn't have I, yeah i wanted to do everything but i didn't i, I promise i didn't but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. And I'm laughing right now because a Ray is calling me. Hey, Ray! Hey, Ray, Ray! <laughs> but do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and 